Hello and welcome. Another build, or more building. Well, that's a great intro, wasn't it? So, back in the city, and I'm thinking, you know, I did a lot of building last time, especially with the, um, was it the trade school here? Art college. Whatever it is. Where is it? Whichever one it was, that's the one I built last time. And before that, the residential and office area around it. And I thought, this time I won't do more, more building as such. At least not in a building sense. I'm thinking one of the things most of my cities might lack is detail. Because I build zoomed out. Well, okay, not that far zoomed out, but I build, you know, pretty much top on, maybe this sort of scale. And it's good for putting things down, but you don't see it as someone living there might. So I'm thinking I want to put a bit more, shall we say, ground level detail in. So let's just start the game going and let's see what we can do. Now I'm focusing at the moment on this area here. So to recap, this is the... Uh, come on brain, this is the entertainment district on this side and on this side is the tourism side But it is a to be honest. It is a bit lacking on Interesting features You know, I did put this in as a centerpiece, but I think I need more than just that So although I just said I'm not building anything I'm gonna build something But it's just going to be a park or plaza or something just to I Mean how big are these are tiny? These are tiny, because I'm thinking I want a large, a large area for people to just chillax in. I mean, you'll often find that in you know, in a large city, that there, there will be some sort of open area in the centre. And I'm thinking, I was thinking one of these would be nice, like plaza of trees, plaza of picnic tables, or the paradox plaza. But they're all quite small, so do I just... Maybe I'll spread them out a bit. Because I was hoping to have just like one big one, but if there isn't one big one, um, unless there's anything else I can use here. Dog park. Small playground. I'm, I want something a bit more... You would expect to see in a in a city, in the centre of a city. Uh, this is all the zoo and park stuff, isn't it? No, not that. So if I can't do one big one, maybe I'll just do a few smaller ones scattered around here. So, I mean, this one's a nice size. Um, did it snap there? I mean, that could be okay, or snap to that road might be better. Right, it's done now. I mean, I suppose if I straighten the road a bit, it might look a bit better. One of the eternal dilemmas of running the game unmodded is, you know, I can't just pick up the road and move it over there. You know, someday I might just have to, you know, bite the bullet and use Move It Mod and other mods, but not today. So we got one there. Maybe we can have one on this side as well. One of the other plazas. Uh, where are they gone? Where am I going? There we are. I mean, how does that look? Uh, how about there then? It's a little bit off the track, but still in the centralish area. So just to give people, you know, like I said, it's just somewhere to go. And it might make everyone a little bit happier as well. Ooh, how's the traffic there? Now one of the other things I was thinking of doing is, I know I said I'm not building, but it might be building, is putting some additional tourist attraction-y type things by the water edge here. So which button is it? That one? Tourism and leisure. We can have a fishing pier, 
somewhere. So it needs to go by the water, and somehow I've got to get a road to it at some point. So what have we got? Fishing tours, fishing pier, jet ski, marina, restaurant, volleyball. I think that does that go anywhere? It just says roadside, okay. Uh, riding stable. So beach volleyball on a beach that makes sense. I think did I put one here already? Yeah, so I put one on this side already, but I could do something similar here. Hmm. Let's do it. Fishing tours. Don't think I'll go to the fishing pier. Fishing tour, maybe. And I'll work out how to get a path to it later. Jet skis. Yeah, we can have some jet ski skis. Have some fun. Bit of a marina, maybe a bit further along there. Restaurants always good. As long as they're not too bothered by the jet skis. And somehow I've got to get a road down there. Now I've never really liked having a road on a beach. And my workaround historically has been to use the gravel road because it looks a bit less... out of place I guess. Alright, let's see how bad my clicking is today. And... Can't build on water. I don't want to build on water, I want to build up there. How's that? Now they also need power. Actually, are they? Yes, they are above water. It is a bit of a limitation of the game that you have to have a road. But at the same this will look ugly. I'll cannot build on water. I don't want to build on water. Is that that's not gonna be close enough, is it? Well let's just do that for now. Does that get them working? Yes. No, uh, okay, that's not great. Water could be a problem there. And those power lines just look so ugly. Maybe this wasn't the best idea I had. Might have been better for like a quayside rather than a, a beach. At least you got some height difference to work with then. Because I think this is going to be a problem, isn't it? What could work actually is... Now I think about it. Where's that road gone? Oh, I was already selected. Is what if I... Very wonkily build a road like that and um, let's just slow that down a bit because that everyone's going to complain now uh, I don't like that corner there let's redo that is you can see what I'm about to do can't you is just to have little branch roads coming off like that Does that satisfy them? Yeah, that should work a bit better. It doesn't make the power any prettier though, does it? Well, let's just leave that running for now and see how we go. People want tourist things to do? you got tourist things to do now. Or at least a few more. We got one visitor, one visitor and one tourist. Still, still a bit lacking, but just let them get on with it. 
Now, one other thing I was thinking about is... I mean, traffic is not too bad in this area at the moment. And I have my amazing footpath. I love this bridge. Look at all these people going along it. Now, my thinking was, would people use... use even more if I gave them a cycle path? This is only a footpath. If I did a cycle path, where would I connect it to, actually? Because I don't think I have the space to run another one parallel to this. So I'm thinking maybe I make another crossing... a bit further over here, maybe? I mean, what is this building? So these are only residential. I just saw a bit of a gap there, I thought. Oh, is that a gap there? I can get a road in? Probably not. But I, they don't want the house anyway, do they? I could have a nice path going from there to there. A cycle path, that is. Should I do it? Is that a good place, though? I'm thinking. Would people want to go there to there on a cycle path? Look at these people. Let's do it. Now, cycle paths are new to me. I have never used one before. So I don't know exactly how they work. I have a sort of like a vague idea. Uh, no, it's not that one. Where is it? Cycle path. Only bikes are allowed on these paths. So no pedestrians. Um, now, this will be interesting. What happens if I just drag it over here? Space already occupied. Yeah, we've got a funny business. Go oh, it's the road, isn't it? The road itself. I mean, if I do that, what happens? It does that. that's always been a part of the problem as well which is it does funky things that doesn't look too bad does it I just knocked their property value right down but that's not too bad now do I continue straight Is that even straight? 180. What? That would be straight. Does that look okay? Again, without the use of mods, I think that's about the best I can expect. Maybe I'll just delete the end section and just um, try to carry the height over a bit more. The trouble is, it's always a bit hard to tell. Is that smaller steps? I mean, I don't mind it going down a bit, but I don't want it to go down too close to the water. Oh, did I lose a section of bridge then? Why did it do that? Yeah, that looks okay, doesn't it? Now, how do I hook it up to the rest of the road network is the next question. Let's get it down to the ground first. I think that's the first thing to do. Now, which one of these buildings do I like least? Karaoke Wonderland, you're gone. So I can bring the cycle path out down there. If I can find the button again.
Is that enough of a stretch? But I can unpause it now. But is that enough? I'm not done by any means. I'm thinking we could just continue the cycle path around just to give another option through up to that road just to give transport an alternative to going along the main road for example right so how many people are using it we've got a few nowhere near as many as the um, the pedestrian look at that that's just tons isn't it but we'll give them some time because I literally only just built that there a second ago. They are on bikes, are they? I'm just checking. There's no pedestrians. Yep, they're on bikes. What happens on each end? Because, like, again, I've never used one of these before, so I just want to see what happens. Do they stay on the bikes or do they go on foot or do they jump in a car? I mean, what do they do? They're still on bikes. They stay on bikes. That's good to know. What did he do then? Just did a, like a 360. My first ever road path, not road path, bike path. Come on brain. So not huge numbers using it uh, as compared to the footpath. <clears throat> now is that because I don't have enough connections? Because I look at that. Most there's a bunch coming from there to there, not just down here. Whereas here, I mean I kind of got that path there, but that's a bit rubbish to be honest, isn't it? Should I build a footpath or a bike path to connect from there to there? Is that a bike? That's a bike. Because I was never really happy with that slope. I mean, look at it. It's a bit... Yeah, if you were walking on that, you would you would fear for your life on that bit, wouldn't you? What do you think? A bike path? Could I... Do I have enough slope I probably don't actually unless I start higher up I'm just thinking it would be good to have a crossing here to join onto there but I don't think I have the space to implement it it's this side that's lacking in space I think this side I got some more room to play with do I keep the footbridge there? I mean, the other thing I could do is similar to this side. I mean, this really is not realistic, is it? I just have some ninja slope going on there. How powerful are his legs to get up that slope? I mean, if he took a long enough run up, maybe. But How can I get a connection from there to there? Because I think that would increase the usage down here quite a lot. And if I can avoid that step situation as well. Can I... How much space have I got, like, behind the houses? Could I go, like, across... It probably won't let me go over the house, would it? Or would it? Or this side? If I dezone, oh, that's not the button I'm looking for. Right, if I dezone that line, no, I can't go across there because it won't join on. No, scratch that idea before it even starts. Unless, unless. Oh, I hate the snap. Do, uh, do I want... Uh, let's try again. No. I turned it off and it's still snapping. It won't let me put another path right next to it.
Okay, that's a tricky situation then. I mean, I... Do I just nuke that house? You didn't want to live there anyway. So now, if let's just dezone that in case it causes any problems later on. So I can go across. Can't I? Is it going up or not? Oh, my mistake! I had it on the. Um, the, I don't know what you call it now. Stoke to sleep. S steep, even. I think that'd be enough. Now, is that still connected? Because visually, it doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, no, let's fix one thing at a time. Can I join there? That didn't join on. So close and yet so far. Okay, that's better. Maybe... They're gone. Right. Just to give them an explicit... Okay, that looks a mess, but it is connected at least. So this side, that side, and... Do I have the room... I'll leave the pedestrian path there. Has can I smooth that bit out slightly? Where's the terrain tool? No, not shift. Smooth. It might not let me because it's already got stuff on it. There might be a house on the ground actually that's preventing it from going out. Is that helping or not? I mean there's a bit of space around the ground there. Let's give it a try anyway. Can I get a path down to the ground from there? I think the answer is yes. That's a bit steep, but it's there. Now, will it let me put the old footpath back down again? I turned off snap, haven't I? So it might not let me, unless... I mean, can I just curve it around? I don't think it'll let me. Because it really wants to join onto the, um, the other path. I mean, I suppose that is a choice.
will that go that way at all? Without snapping on anything? Well, I can go there apparently. Can I join that to that? Actually, that's still rubbish, but it'll do. I suppose it is a little bit smoother and it's kind of taking the contours a bit more in consideration now. Now let's see if that extra bike connection, so both sides can make, look at that. Does that increase, ooh, that looks, is that busy already? I think it's working. And again we've got a pedestrian access on this side. Now what I don't know is, are bikes allowed on pedestrian footpaths? I think I just saw one then. Did I see one then? Yes. So bikes can use footpaths. But pedestrians are not allowed on bike paths. Apparently. Just to double check. If anyone's on a bike. That's a dog. Are dogs allowed on bike paths? Apparently. Let's see what else we've got. If we just pause and look along here. Is that another dog? Okay, people here seem to like to take their dogs off them on a bike ride. That's fair enough. Oh, a bit of terrain showing through there. What's happened to him? Uh, it, whatever. I can't zoom in any further, but uh, yeah, that's a bit in the ground. Should see it. Oh, that slope looks a lot worse now, doesn't it, from here? I'll fix it later. My famous words, aren't they? I'll fix it later. I mean, what might be possible is if I delete that, I can take the footpath straight down and this will come down over the footpath. Maybe that would work. Should I try it? Let's try it. Let's just ruin everything I've done, I've done there. So normal footpath goes from there to there. Bike path goes, or tries to, go from there to there. It's still steep, but any if I move it any further over, they're going to be inside that house. I mean, the other option I have, I suppose, is I could just take a diagonal from further back, I suppose. Should we try that? Uh, it's clashing with the footpath. And even with snapping off, I can't get... Ooh, did something happen then? It's like it's trying to snap there. No, it doesn't like it. Let's put it back and move on. So that's the best I'm going to get. And like I said, he's practically inside the house now, but... It'll do. Is anyone actually going to use that with a bike anyway? Haven't seen any usage yet, have we? Anyone? Someone use it? Just, just make it worth me putting it there. Just one person using it. Just one. There! There! Did you see that? Right, someone's used it. We're done. For this side anyway. So we got a bike connection, we got a pedestrian connection, the pedestrian connection is still as busy as ever. And I also mentioned already, it looked like you can have bikes on a pedestrian path, but you can't have pedestrians on a bike path, although dogs are okay apparently. So what I was thinking was, again, they don't have to use the main road. I mean, is it going to be any advantage if I gave another cycle path around the outside here, say? 
would that help at all? It might help a little bit if I gave them a connection to the, this area. It's not really a shortcut. That's what I'm thinking. They can just go along the road. Hmm. Now the further thought occurs, would it help for me to have a bike path going all the way back to this area? So this is the old, the original commercial area. This path kind of goes nowhere. What if I turn that into a, a bike path? So just um, parallel to the main road, would that really help? Because in essence, if they wanted to bike, they could already just take the main road, can't they? Would a ded dedicated bike path help or not, is the question I'm wondering. Because this bike path is instead of a road. I didn't want to have another road crossing, that's the nearest road for them to cross at. So we've got a pedestrian and a bike path. So any travelling locally would still be on a normal road. I don't know, it just feels... Do you agree? It just feels right to me to have another path. Let's just do it. Right, let's see how badly I can mess up with the curve road tool. I wanted to kind of follow the old path. Yeah, I'm that good at it. Ooh, that's not far off. It's just trying to get the right amount of bend. Oh, that's pretty close. That is close. I'm having that. So we've got a bike path joining the pedestrian path. And already we've got one person using it. I'm not sure. I think the bike path lets them get at a higher speed than the pedestrian path. So it's kind of, it's, it might be useful in that sense. That really does it help? Should I use a freeform tool or do I continue using this one? Part of me is also thinking I probably want to have more connections to the main road as well. Because this is kind of going nowhere at the moment. That pylon's in a way. I'll fix it in a second. So there's another route there, but it doesn't really go anywhere or add value yet. Oh, we've got one person using it. Where is he going? Going to work at Cafe Paris, which is over there. So which one is it? That one. So he's going all the way around there, loop back to get to... I lost track now, it was somewhere around there wasn't it? So I'm thinking a few more... If I just can get another connection or two here, that would just increase the options a bit. I 
It will mean knocking down some of this stuff though. And that slope may get interesting as well. Happy hamster. Sorry, with a name like that, you're staying. Best nightclub. Right, with a name like that, you're gone. Why couldn't you call yourself something nice like Happy Hamster? Now, again, <clears throat> I don't know if I can... Wrong button. Is that the level? I'm doing it wrong. That's why... I did... No, no. Soften terrain. That's the one I wanted. Is that helping? Maybe a little bit, but not... Not hugely. I mean, it's still a bit of a slope there. Even if a bit less than before. Just to, um... It's that pylon, isn't it? Just to give it a bit more... Flattening. I'm not sure I can do much more without taking down the buildings as well. But I would say... Well, that's going to be a lot better than it was anyway. Uh, where's the paths? Cycle path. This is... Straight. Yeah, um, ideally I'd like to flatten out a bit more. But yeah, more people are using it now. So, okay, that's looking good. I mean, I don't know if this is helping my traffic at all. Is that enough of a gap for me to get a path down? It's going to be tight. That's what she said. It fits. So people have yet another option there. I think that's enough actually, isn't it? So you go down here, you got... I should have leveled the terrain again, shouldn't I? Look at that. Don't know how much I could really do. I mean, is that helping or not? And I think part of the problem is the... It's not shifting the path really, is it? Where were we? And go. Oh, do do do! I forgot. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. I mean, I'm half tempted to put another connection, just a regular footpath, since both people and cars can use it. There's a is there a gravel gravel path? Because I think that would suit a gravel road a bit better, wouldn't it? Um, that is making me think though. Should I make these not? just a bike path because if I make this a footpath well let's just do the footpath first oh I thought I had the that one I should make that into a footpath, shouldn't I? So that pedestrians can use it as well. And then they can take the gravel path down to the beach. Oh, 
Oh, did is that did I just see that right? People are walking down there. Oh. Was that on a bike already? They're on a bike already. I thought they were walking then. No, they're all on bikes. But that just gives another option to get to these properties. They can take the gravel path now from that footpath. Otherwise, it will be bikes only. If anyone will ever use it, that's another matter again. Let's just have a look. Am I seeing bikes disappear then? Did you see that? It might be because I took the road out, uh, the road, the path out earlier. Is anyone going to use that gravel path? It's going to be a no, isn't it? I haven't seen a single person go down it yet. In fact, is anyone visiting these at all? Not really. Someone's visiting by car, that's it. No one's visiting by foot. Although I only just put that in recently, so maybe needs a little time. Whoa, there, we just had someone. Going to Marina. So it wasn't totally wasted. Yay! I am thinking though, because that is technically a road, I don't want too many junctions. Could I come off there instead? So gravel road. Well, it looks like the short answer is yes, I can. Do I have curvy road? And let's put the cycle path the rest of the way. I'm actually thinking I probably I might want to continue the cycle path on this side. Although we still have the little height thing going on there. The thinking is if I am, then I should take the cycle path down here instead. So let's just put a placeholder in here. That'll do for now. Yeah, look at that. Should I? I'll leave that. I was just thinking, do I want to fill that in? There wasn't anything there anyway, and hopefully there's still, yeah, that power's bridging over, so that's fine. Yep, that looks fine. I mean, talking about a, a key, maybe that's more something I could do here. You know, this is still the entertainment area, so would a key look look okay there? And then I can have a little riverside. Getting the height right might be tricky though. Because I'm just thinking, you know, that's so steep, you're not you're not gonna want a key there. But could it make sense to have one along here? Now I have used the feature before. Don't ask me where to find it though, but I have used it before. 
Where is it? Water. Key. I mean, shoreline required. So I can't be too far away from the water is what it's trying to tell me, isn't it? But my, th oh, I don't know. Because like, let's say I build it there. I didn't actually intend to click it then, but I have now. Okay, it did flatten the ground behind it, so I could build something there, can I? Because it's not class as a road or anything, is it? It isn't. So, can I just put a road next to it, for example? It really helps if I don't have the water bobbing. So I could do something like that. Would that be nice? I'm thinking I would only do it on this little section here. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do the whole coast. Uh, let's. I've forgotten where I found it already. And I don't want a flood wall. Because the tricky part now is, can I keep it nice? Is that nice? Uh, I'm gonna really fail at getting the um, Am I too far from the water? So if I have a road there, I can still have some some buildings and things. I'm not sure about a texture shift there, but of course the other problem is me trying to get a road right next to this on a curve. It ain't gonna happen, is it? Oh no no no. It's a tiny gap there, but that's probably about as good as I'm going to get without using a mod. I don't know, because the water's coming and going a bit and it looks a bit too close at times. Now this will be a logical junction there. Because the other option is a bridge one and I don't think I want to put it on the bridge. That would be a bit too close. Unless I turn the whole thing into a giant roundabout. I don't think the traffic will be enough to justify a roundabout there. So I'm thinking, just take this road straight down. I 
and I haven't thought about what to do on this end either because I've still got my powerful arrangement there. I don't know. What do you think? You're gone. If I put snap back on, how straight am I? I'm just curious. 90 degrees is there. Because I'm think if I just take the end bit off, I'll just do a little a softer curve. That'd be nice. Even if the key kind of deviates from there. Maybe I could put some sort of detail here just to um, do something about it. I don't know. We'll come back to that. Now, I probably want to put the power line back in, because otherwise none of that section has power. Right. That's a bit precarious, isn't it, really? It would be nice if I just had a bit more power security in the city. So that everything isn't reliant on that. Now this road goes nowhere at the moment, so no one's going to use it. Now this is a tricky one. If I do want to join it on, there's a junction there, but that means I'll have to rebuild the footpath. I don't want to rebuild a footpath. Or I could knock down something there to give it a second connection. So we still have a bit of a dead end there. But at least it'll um, have a bit more connectivity. And then you can still have a footpath to join on. To join up the last bit. That is... Yes, that is footpath. So I think that's my best bet really, isn't it? I'll just have a... I don't know. Is this going to be a through road or not? That's the question. Ooh, it's flooding. It's a flooding road. Mm. The dangers of on being on a river side, I guess. <coughs> yes, this is something I was thinking about as well. Have some trees, they, they look nice, don't they? So you've got a nice avenue of trees as you come down. You know, I could put some detail on here as well. I mean, should I continue the key further along the beach? Underneath the bridge at least, maybe. But the road, I'm going to turn into a footpath. Just for the last bit of it here. Hmm... Do I like S bend it down or do I just like diagonal it? I think that'll do. It's more popular than ever, isn't it? So we've got this nice riverside area and nothing on it. So keeping in mind this is the entertainment district, not the... I mean that's leisure, but I kind of see them as kind of related in that sense. The Happy Hamster, they're expanding. Branches everywhere. Is anyone not Happy Hamster? Bowling... Karaoke, pub. They like their hamsters, don't they?
let's see what else I have that could be interesting for tourism. You know, I'm obviously thinking it'd be the sort of thing you have on a riverside. So I'm thinking a plaza of picnic tables is not going to fit. It might go sideways, actually, if I just put a little side road there. I'm just thinking, oh, are these smaller? They're smaller. That'll do. Plaza of trees. Probably too big to go on that side, but we can get one in here. So just to give a sort of like an open area for people to visit. So you're walking along the road, you just have a just an open area. You don't want it too dense, do you? So from there you got a nice view of the bridge, the residential area and What's going on in the background there? Do I, uh, oh, it's just industry problems. I'll leave it. So we got that. What else have we got that's entertainment? Shall we look at some of the special buildings and things? Is anything relevant here? Christmas market? Winter market. That's massive. What? Could that be an interesting feature here? I think that's a nice feature, isn't it? Although, again, I'm not. I might have to change my roads later on because that doesn't feel right to me. I think it really needs to be squarely enclosed. Let's see what else we got. A fountain. A really big fountain. Again... Would that be something that could go in around here? Since it is leisure and tourism and all that... I didn't give any of these spaces big enough. Oh, well, that one's not bad. Got a bit of noise pollution there, but I think we can deal with that. We don't have power there. Just bridge over. It's just a little bit like that. Uh, we've got water though. Okay, I covered the area already. That's fine. Now, I just want some small detail down here. What would you find on a riverside? It's like, you know, if we just want to go pure entertainment, what can we do? Zoo. No, that's not happening. Concerts. Now, music club is a long, thin building, isn't it? None of these are really ideal for the shape. You know, the club by down the river. I mean, it could go on the end, I suppose. So, I'm not doing the music venues. What's unique buildings? So, we've got some more statues and things. I've got a feeling I've got enough of these already in the archway. Oh, I didn't mean to click it. I was just going to hover and see what it looks like. Well, now I can see what it looks like. That's not bad, actually, is it? So that's the entranceway to this area. No, I'll leave it there. Okay. What else have we got? Because I think I want something like a clock tower. It's a pretty big clock tower. 
Uh, I think that's going to be too much detail. Too much. Oh, Market Street. No. None of these are... Well, an opera house could be Riverside, I suppose, but that's massive, isn't it? Sea Fortress. You know, that could just dangle off... Well, I have to get a road down there somewhere. So... That's one for later. That's a maybe. Science Centre, that's going to be... yeah. I mean, all these buildings are massive, aren't they? Is that the one I built already? No, it's a totally different tower. But two towers in one place is going to be excessive. I don't think any of these are really going to fit, are they? That's a stadium. It's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. I mean, that could go nicely by the water as well, couldn't it? But again, I'll have to find a way to get a road down there. Just stand there guarding the entrance of the river. Where's that gravel road? I wish they had more options for the power mechanic. Like under ground power cables for example, that would be nice. Still haven't thought, what, what can I put there? Something interesting, but something small as well. I mean, this is all entertainment already. I could put just more entertainment here. It'd just be more of the same though. Uh, that's a possibility, actually. But not for right now, since um, the demand is still quite low. Probably have to work on the industry or offices a bit next time. Just to balance out the demand. Should I drop another path down? Like, like I did there. Just quickly convert this into a footpath. And then I can gravel path the rest of the way. I thought I had the curvy thing on. I guess I did not. There we go. So there's another connection point there. Maybe there are more people who use it now. I feel like I want to make that a bit straighter. Wow, people really want to go there. Even with this um, gravel path arrangement. That's really popular. Okay. So maybe that's helping a bit with my... Look at this. You've got tiny places like this and then you've got a massive hotel next to them. Not enough customers, but we're getting there. We are getting there. This is looking a lot better already, isn't it? Because I think at the start of the um, session, there were lots of abandoned buildings here and they've all been used up. So now that we have, yep, tourism, people are actually visiting touristy places, except that park, apparently. But they like that. They like that. So we've got a few more tourist reasons to come here now. So that's looking up. I think I'll end it there. Um, if anyone has suggestions on what I could put here, 
be interested to hear hear them. Otherwise, I'll just end up filling in with more entertainment, just generic entertainment. I don't know if I can put more different modifiers on to make it a bit different. But because it's Riverside, I want I wanted something a bit different. Um, actually, on that note, I have an idea. I've got to go and check and see if the creator packs are on still on discounts because I never bought those. Uh, so. My philosophy in this game so far is I only play with official assets, so nothing from the workshop, no mods other than the ones bundled with the game. Um, apart from one mod I did try not on this map, which was the one that unlocks more tiles. So that's not a mod as such, it just enables you to do the same stuff but with more area. But um, like I just said, I haven't bought the asset packs. So they may give something a little bit different. Uh, I'll have to look into that. But for now, I think, uh, like I said, I will end here. Thanks for watching and see you next time.